So I had this great question come up on one of my videos the other day and it's the video where I'm talking about macrobiotics and you know my tips for eating a macrobiotic diet and one of those tips is to eat what's in season. Now the the question that was asked was how you know how am I supposed to eat what's in season when the ground is covered in two foot of snow and, and I think this is a great question. Firstly it kind of made me balk um, initially I was like oh yeah okay and then I paused and started to think about, you know, realistically, how would I answer this question? So firstly, it makes me think back to, uh, I guess, a more simpler time in human history when people would uh, take the harvest of summer and autumn and store them in certain ways so that they would be preserved over the cold winter months. Now, just a disclaimer here, I don't live in a climate or a region where we get snow. We do get frosts occasionally over the colder months, but there's definitely no snowfall. So I don't have experience necessarily of living in one of these cold climates where there is a lot of snow. However, if I was living in one of those climates, my assumption would be that there would be periods of time when things could grow abundantly and you could then harvest that abundance and do something with it to store it over the winter months. So whether that was to have a, a, like a root cellar or somewhere where you could keep your um, vegetables in a cold storage facility over the winter months when there is no ability to grow things. Um, there'd be ways you could preserve things, pickle things, um, and use those things and again keep them in your cellar so that you could pick from them and use them throughout the winter months. Of course things like beans that grow in summer you can harvest the dried beans, store them, rehydrate them in winter and use them to make delicious soups and stews and things like that. So it comes down to being a little more forward thinking about what you're going to do in those cold winter months. And of course, you know, we live in societies now where we have grocery stores and restaurants and things like that that we can turn to to get food when things aren't growing in season. So, you know, for instance, in Australia, I can get cherries in the middle of winter because they're coming in from the United States. And I'm sure it goes the same direction the other way. But it doesn't mean I have to buy those cherries in winter. And I guess the other thing to think about is, you know, you may live in a really, really cold climate that's covered in snow. Think about to the traditional uh, inhabitants of that land and, you know, perhaps they would have actually migrated at that time of year when it became really icy and cold. Obviously, you may not be able to do that because you live in this house or this place and you're not prepared to get up and move just because it's getting cold. You know, we have all these creature comforts now of, you know, heating and what have you, so we can stay in our fixed address forever. Um, but, but just noting that, you know, the traditional inhabitants of those lands potentially would have migrated in the colder months to, to warmer areas so that they could survive. Um, and in, you know, that, that was a really, in, you know, important survival tool that they had to actually travel and move away, just like animal herds travel across continents, you know, going from place to place according to the seasons. Humans were much the same in our original form as, I guess, you know, more animals rather than civilized humans, if that makes sense. So back to the original question, you know, how can I eat in season when I live in a climate that's, you know, where the land is covered in snow? And there's other things, preserving techniques that we can use to preserve food, things like dehydrating, for instance, you know, dehydrating fruit from summer months and even vegetables as well and storing them is a great way to use the harvest of previous seasons and, and bring that into your diet. So I hope this has helped. I hope it might encourage you to think about um, what you eat and how you can use those harvests of the warmer months and bring them into your diet during the colder weather. Storing, preserving, dehydrating, pickling. And there are lots of traditional methods you can use for this. So 
it really just comes down to taking some time to have a look around. There would be people in your area that are potentially doing this already and they've been, you know, grandmothers who have passed this on for generations, passing it down the line. There would be people who do this and perhaps sell their preserves and their pickles and, and thing in your local neighborhood that you could purchase and, and use and store for your winter months as well. So yes, it is harder to eat seasonally in a place where things aren't able to grow. Um, but there are these little tips and tricks that we can use to help bring those warmer climate, those warmer weather fruits and vegetables and beans and grains into our winter diets um, using these techniques. All right, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.